morning. All right, Facebook, good morning, y'all. Welcome in, welcome in. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. Good morning. <laughs> it's Monday. It's Monday. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on, you got up this morning. You ready this morning? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let y'all come on in this morning. Bringing this one here, bringing this one here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good morning, callers. Good morning, IG. All right, there you go. Good morning, Facebook. Glad y'all are here this morning. It's going to be a great time this morning. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We got great fun for you. When you come in, come on in with your praise. Come on in with your thanksgiving. Enter into the outer courts. We're here this morning. Come on, let's enter in. Let's give him praise as we enter in. Thanksgiving as we enter in. We're entering into the outer court this morning. Come on. Come on. We're coming through the gates. We're coming through the gates. Getting ready to go in. Getting ready to go in, y'all. Good morning. Good stuff, good stuff. Excited to be with you this morning. Listen, when you come in, make sure that you put in your city and your state that you're that you're uh, that you're watching, that you're calling, that you're listening from. Uh, make sure that you put that in there. It's encouraging. Also, we're believing uh, for ambassadors. Man, that thing is coming together. Go do some more work on it. I'm telling y'all, we are. Uh, we, I want you to know we've archived all of these, every single one of these. And eventually, uh, we're going to load them up, working with a team now, we're going to load them up to YouTube so we'll be able to access access them at any time and even go back and get some of your favorite ones. I'm just excited about it. Uh, glad to be with y'all this morning. So put in your city and your state. Believe it for the ambassadors in all 50 states and provinces. Uh, we're doing this eight uh, until eight. Uh, the month of August is uh, about to be here come Saturday, I believe. I mean, it'll be right here. It's It's been going on for the whole year, y'all, but you have been remaining faithful. You have been consistent. And listen, we know that breakthrough is on the other side of consistency. So to the degree that you can remain consistent, you will see breakthrough uh, in every area. We're believing in every area of your life and multiplied areas. Let's just maintain it. We come in and we have inspiration. We get the word of God. It's the inspired word that is written by God that through a man, through the hands, it's given to us and we are all, we all have been eating off this word for years and years and it will be years and years afterwards. Hear me, the word is alive. And so we come in, we come in praising. We come in, we come in giving, sending the hearts and the thumbs up. We come in, we put in our city and our state in. We come in and we say, good morning, good morning. Listen, my call, my, my, listen, my homie on the call, that's what he said. Come on, let's get it. He, he ready to get it. I believe that y'all ready to get it this morning as well. And so we're making this thing well. If you see somebody you know, tell them good morning. If you see somebody that you invited, make sure that you applaud them for making uh, the call and getting on the invite. And if you were the one that was invited, make sure that you do the same. Congratulate and thank the person for inviting you for being on the call. If y'all can hear me, if y'all hear me, you can tell that I'm excited. I'm ready to go this morning. Uh, I got a passage of scripture uh, that I believe that I, I taught it. Uh, it was a part of Sunday's... Um, Sunday's lesson. Man, I'm telling you, you better stay with Sunday. It's going to be hot, and we're going to make sure that we got some other stuff surrounding it so you can get all that you need. But I'm excited this morning for all of you uh, to hear this word from the Lord and what we got ready to go, okay? So uh, without further ado, I believe, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Those of you that are in watch parties, if you're in a watch party being hosted by someone, I'm glad that you're in the watch party. God bless you. Thank you so much uh, for joining them in that watch party. Uh, they are hosting the party because they want you to know that you're important to them and they wanted to interact with you directly. So make sure that you make your comments. And speaking of that, woo, I almost missed that one, y'all. Like, comment, and share. Like, comment, and share so that when you like, comment, okay, like, comment, share, and tag uh, so that those uh, that are, are participating, you can get your soil ready to receive the word. All right, now let me get to that. We'll give you inspiration. Inspiration is found from the word of God. And then motivation, what that word is actually meaning, uh, or how can that word help you perform the application? The application is yours. So I'll give you inspiration. I'll give you motivation, but you're responsible for the application. All right, y'all got it? Let's see. All right, I gave, I gave you enough time. We got to get it. We got to go. We got to get it. All right, today, today, y'all ready to give him praise this morning? Let's do it. This morning, your inspiration 
is coming out of Acts, the 10th chapter. Come on, there it is. Your inspiration is coming out of Acts, the 10th chapter. Acts, the 10th chapter. And it is going to be uh, a familiar passage of scripture. You hear me quote it all the time, even in our prayers. See, what I'm doing What I'm doing uh, here uh, as of late is I'm trying to grab some of those scriptures that I'm quoting all the time to you. So you'll see where, they're, where they are in scripture, or as, as Pastor Parker says, uh, their address in the scripture. So you'll see their address in the scripture. You'll know where they are so that you'll be able to quote them. When we quote the word back to God, we're speaking or we're making confession. We're speaking in agreement with God on what he said. So when we call him to his word, when we remind him of his word, then he is he is, he is not having to uh, try to figure out. <laughs> well, it's not that he's trying to figure out. Make a plain there. Uh, it is you calling him to his word. Therefore, you're speaking in the will of God. His will is going to be performed because you're speaking what the word says. His will is found in his word. His word is already true. It's already there. The promises are yes and amen, but we are not entitled to the promises we don't know when we are in need and we're not quoting them back to him. Make it plain. When we're in a situation where we need God, God's going to operate according to his will. Since I know he's going to operate according to his will, I need to know what his will is. Since I know his will is found in his word, instead of me trying to find a whole bunch of other words, let me just quote the words that he's already spoken back to him and then I'll have an expectation that he's able to do what he said he was going to do according to what he already said. All right, now, now I hope that's clear. So I'm trying to give you scriptures so that you'll be able to see why I quote these scriptures so that you can have peace, so that you can have comfort, so that you can have confidence when you're praying because that's how you pray. You pray the word of God. You speak the words back to him, and I'm telling you, that's how you get results. So you don't pray in error, or you don't pray amiss. Y'all got it? All right, so not 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 a hocus pocus, uh, not anything other than simple arithmetic. It's a formula, and that formula works if you work it. So the word will work if you work it. All right, y'all ready? All right, so it's found in Acts. The word of God, the inspiration today is found in Acts. The, uh, come on, y'all give praise for y'all like that. Come on, all right, come on. Let's come back, come back, come back, come back. All right, let's do what we got to do. Acts, the 10th chapter, verse. 34, Acts the 10th chapter, verse number 34, it says, then Peter opened his mouth and said, in truth, I perceive that God shows no partiality. Come on, let's see it again. It says, then Peter opened his mouth and said, in truth, I perceive that God shows no per no partiality. Let's take a look at that. Then Peter opened his mouth, this saying that we're going to have to say something. Eventually, we're going to have to say something. But this time that Peter opened his mouth, he didn't just open his mouth to say something. Although the scripture says he opened his mouth and said, he opened his mouth to say something. But Peter's mouth here open is a gas. In other words, Peter was, uh, he was in uh, befuddlement at the moment. He was uh, at a place of awe. He was at, yeah, a place of awe. So he opened his mouth and then said, okay? So he opened his mouth, mouth open, then said, got it? So then Peter opened his mouth and said, in truth, he said, without a doubt, without a doubt, I can see or I perceive my heart has been changed. This perceived is what he had previously believed. He has a new revelation, and so his heart has changed as a result of the new revelation. Now, this is something that he did see. This is something that did happen, but he perceived, meaning that he believed in his heart. Therefore, because of what he saw or what he experienced, it changed his heart in a manner. So here we see that this is talking about Jesus, uh, or rather Peter, uh, no longer was uh, prejudiced. Right, right. Peter was prejudiced. Some racism was going on right here in the scripture and God had to check him and get his heart together because Peter had went to Cornelius' house and the Cornelius was not a part of the Jews. Cornelius was a Gentile, but this Gentile was praying. This Gentile was giving uh, alms, uh, helping uh, poor people and giving to the temple of God uh, to make sure that the, that everything went according to how it was planned. And, and then God sent him all the way down to Cornelius' house and Cornelius' entire house got sent saved. They started shouting, speaking in tongues, giving God praise. And Peter said, whoa, I thought this was only for the Jews. But I perceive that God shows no favoritism or God is not prejudiced. This ought to help you this morning, that God is not prejudiced. And so he shows no favoritism. He doesn't favor somebody over somebody else based on what somebody has, what somebody is, what color they are. So this messes some of y'all up. I know it. I know it. Oh, listen, I know it. I got you. I got you. But hear what I'm saying. This is what he said. Here's your motivation. All right. That's what he said. This is your motivation. Your motivation this morning is Peter watched in, in uh, disbelief and changed his mind because of what he saw and changed his heart 
and realized that God was not prejudiced. Peter realized that God was not present. So what's my app today? How, how does this help? How can you help me with this today? I need some help today. Well, here's your app today. Today. Now, listen, the reason why we say that is because we apply God's word today to live life a better way. If you agree with that, come on, give him praise for it. We're going to apply this word to our lives today. We're going to live life a better way. I'm going to make sure this works for you because you need, you need this working for you. <laughs> today. Today. Don't wait to see it, change your heart today. Don't wait to see it in disbelief. Don't wait to see it to believe it. Don't wait to see it in order to check. Don't wait. Don't wait. Change your heart today and leave all prejudices aside. Don't, don't, today. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to say that it's somebody holding you. It's hard to say that this is happening. When you call yourself a believer, a believer believes in God. Their hope is in God. They're, they're, listen, you have to be able to defeat the wicked schemes of the enemy, believing that the favor of God rests on your life. And therefore, what the enemy means for evil, God is always going to work for your good. Anybody, that sounds like a little Sunday. Come on, I can sound a little bit like Sunday. But here it is today. Don't wait to believe it, to see it, change your heart now. Don't wait to believe it, to see it, change your heart now. That's your inspiration, Acts 10, chapter, verse 34. That's your motivation. Peter saw that God had no prejudice. God was not racist. God was not a favorite, uh, one who would favor of God. And be careful with people telling you this because people will be telling you this over and over and over again. God favors those who, fa God loves those who favor his righteous cause. So God is not prejudiced. Get this. He's not prejudiced. He hasn't selected a group of people over a group of people. I know that you're reading the Old Testament, but you better hear what I'm saying. If this part is true and that part is true, what is this part meaning? God said that since I sent my son Jesus, oh, get it. Oh, sent Jesus, Jesus tears the veil. You don't need no representative. <laughs> Come on, give him praise for it. That's your inspiration. That's your motivation. That's your application. Today, don't wait to believe it, to, to, to believe it, to receive it. Don't wait to believe it, rather, uh, to change. Go ahead and believe it and change today. Let me read that so I don't mess that up because I, I, I don't want to mess that up. I want y'all to get that. Today, don't wait to believe it, to see it, all right? To see it, to believe it, rather. Uh, change your heart now. Don't wait to see it. That's it. Don't wait to see it, to believe it. Change your heart today. All right, I want to make sure I got that right for y'all. All right, I love it. I love it. Are y'all ready this morning? We ready to pray? Come on. We got, Let's go. Father, we thank you. We bless your name this morning. We give you honor. This. We're excited to be here this morning. Thank you for waking us up, God. Thank you for giving us an opportunity. We love you. We adore you. You are the great God. You are the awesome God. You are the magnificent God. You are the majestic one. You are the holy one. You are the high and lifted up. You are the healing bomb. You are the healer, the Rafa. You are a righteousness, God. You set us in right standing with you. You are the holy one. You are the praise one. You're the most lifted God. You're the King of Kings. You're the Lord of Lords. You are the soon coming King. You're the righteous Savior. You're the only one at your name, Lord God. Your name is holy. We magnify you. We give you glory this morning. We thank you, Lord. We honor you. We honor you this morning with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, everything, God, that's in us. We love you with our heart, our mind, our soul, our spirit, God, everything in us. We bless your name. We praise your name this morning. You're worthy. God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for our ability to come before your throne today. Your word says to come boldly before you. And so, God, we're here this morning. We praise and gave your thanks in the outer court. We've made offerings, God. We've given so the kingdom can expand. And now, God, we have partaken of the bread of life. And, Lord, we're here now, God, in the holies of holies, making our requests known unto you. And the first thing we want to do is adore you. 
The first thing we want to do is acknowledge you. The first thing we want to do, God, is let you know, God, how much we appreciate, how much we love you. If nothing else happens, we're here in this moment. And so, God, we're going to give you praise in this moment. We glorify you. We magnify you. We lift your name high. Your name is a strong tower, and the righteous can run in and are safe. And so, God, we run in and we are safe this morning. We give you praise this morning. God bless God. Bless your name this morning. Come on. Somebody give him glory this this morning hallelujah ha! he's worthy of it all he's worthy of it all he's worthy of it all in every situation in every moment in every point in every moment God that we are here breathing this breath we want to give you glory with our lives we magnify you this morning we love you we need you we glorify you we make you bigger than every situation God we make you bigger than every moment God because you orchestrate you understand you know us you know our hands you know our names you know our Tim, God, you have a plan for us, and God, so we celebrate you this morning. We magnify you this morning. Come on, somebody, give him glory this morning. Hallelujah. And so this morning, Lord, we ask that you forgive us for all of our sins. Sins, God, that we're aware of. Sins that we're not. Sins that, God, we tried to overlook, hide, and push it to the side. God, we ask that you forgive us for all things. Things that we know. We bring it to you today. We bring it to you in this moment. Because we need you. We need you in our lives. And we don't want anything to separate us from you. So, God, search our hearts. Search our minds. Search our spirits. God, if there's anything in us, cleanse us and wash us as your word said. That you would wash us and cleanse us and make us new, make us whole, God. We're trusting, we're depending, we need, we believe. And so, God, we ask that you move now in Jesus' name, Lord. Forgive us for all of our sins according to your word. God, we ask, Lord God, if there's any sin that we committed against someone else, God, we ask that we receive the forgiveness out of their heart. Change their heart, God. Mend and tender their heart so that they're able to forgive us as we're forgiving them. Anybody that has done anything to us, God, even things that have caused us to have emotional and mental issues have, have caused us to have pain, God, long term. We're asking that you give us the strength and the ability to forgive them, God, to release them so that we ourselves can be released. And so, God, we're asking for it now. Your word says for us to come before you because we don't want any sin that's entangling us to separate us from you. We want to be close to you. We want to be near you. We want to be in your presence. We want your presence to be with us and to be present while you're with us, God. We know you. We have to have you. We've experience your presence and there's nothing like your presence and so we bless you this morning we give you praise this morning hallelujah come on we got to thank him this morning this is your praise moment since you know that he has forgiven you and lord your, your word says that when you forgive us now you don't remember it anymore and so god we thank you for the new day today we thank you for the fresh mercy today we thank you for your fresh grace on today we thank you for your fresh kindness on today we thank you lord god that you have given it to us and so we walk in the authority and the power of it and the joy, God, that comes from knowing that we have been forgiven, that Christ has paid the price. And all we have to do, God, is appropriate his blood for our lives, his blood, and we give you glory for it now. It's the payment that causes remission of sin, and it's already been paid. And so we give you thanks for it this morning. Come on, if that's you, come on, give him glory for it. Give him praise for it. Come on. That's your moment right there. That's your holler moment. That's your wake up everybody. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Wake up people in your house. Wake up your neighbor. Get your lights turned on. Come on. When you're driving down the street, blow the horn. Blow the horn on that truck. Pull. Pull it on. Come on. Yes. Stop running. Just shout. Turn around. Stop riding your bicycle for a minute. Man, I know they're mad that you're stopping, but go ahead and give him glory. Throw back your head and holler. Open up your mouth and give God praise. He's worthy of it all. Your activity, your participation in this moment. If praises go up and he comes and inhabits the praises of his people. If praises go up and his eyes are roaming to and fro to see whom he may bless. If praises go up and he responds to the praises of his people. Come on. If praises go up and that is an indication that you believe that you receive at the moment you pray. You're in the midst of the prayer. Before we go into making our request known. Let's give him praise in advance for what we believe he's already going to do. Hallelujah!
<laughs> Glory to your name. We magnify you this morning, God. We're ready this morning, God. The devil has no authority, no place, no room, God, because we fill it with praise. We fill it with glorifying your name. You're worthy of it all, and we're excited, God, because we know we love you, and we have the things we have petitioned of you. Your word says for us to be anxious for nothing. But in everything through prayer and supplication, listen, listen, if you, I didn't do it, but if you, if you have a prayer request, please place your prayer request on the wall or place your prayer request in the comments. I've got people in every place ready to pray for you right now. If you have a prayer request or that you believe is too personal and intimate, then send it to admin at Amazing Church for you that are IG and on the phone. But for those of you that are on uh, Facebook, man, click that link. It gets there a whole lot faster and fill out the form and then someone will pray for you. But if you put it on the wall, somebody will pray for you right now. They're going to come back and do the rebroadcast. They're going to scour it and they're going to pray your prayer and you're going to get your request known. Now, as we go before the throne, come on, be anxious for nothing, he says, but through prayer and supplication, make your request known. We're here interceding on behalf of those, Lord, that are in need. They may not be able, God, they may not have the strength. Their heart is towards you. And so, God, as Christ is making intercession for us in our weak and earthly state, we make intercession for those that are in the earth and in a weak state. Hallelujah. As Christ makes intercession for us in our weak and earthly state, we make intercession now for those that are in the earth that may be in a weak state. And we're asking God that you would heal them, heal them in their body, heal them in their mind, heal them, God, in their emotions, heal them in every way. Your word says that you want us to prosper and to be in health and wealth, even as our soul prospers. And you've given us, God, an answer for our wealth, for us to sow seed. And you've given us an answer for our help, for us, God, to pray and to intercede and to do things, God, in the earth and realm that will affect our body. But God, in our spirit, man, we are to call on you to pray and talk to you so that you, Lord God, would be able to heal us in our spirit, man. Heal us in every area of our body. In our bodies, heal us in every area of our soul, our mind, our will, our imagination, our emotions, and our intellect, and heal us in every area in our spirit, man. Lord God, your word says that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We are asking, God, that you would raise people up out of their sick bed, that you would state that God, that you would stop the foolishness of the flesh that would continue to fan the flames of a virus. That you, God, would quell, that you would quell the foolishness of the flesh and let them understand, God. Put in their hearts that whom the sun sets free is free indeed and that no restrictions from any government or any entity can take away the freedom that you have given. God, in Jesus' mighty name, we ask that you give wisdom to those, Lord, that are in corners someplace contriving God trying to manipulate the moment so that they can monetize the opportunity. God changed their heart quench and kill the foolishness that is taking place for those that are fanning the flames of fear on both sides. Fear, Father God, in law and order. Fear, Father God, in sickness and disease. God, the preservation of human life as it pertains to something that we can do we're asking God that you would give wisdom to those that have voices and that are speaking to people. We bind the voice of the enemy and the voice of wickedness, the voice of fear in any form in the name of the Lord Jesus, the voice of fear and lack, the voice of fear and sickness, the voice of fear and disease, the voice of fear and death, the voice of fear and loss, the voice of fear and pain, in Father God, rejection. We bind the voice of fear now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're asking God that you would shut up the voice of fear, for you did not give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit, God, of fear it must come from some place. And so we bind the work of the enemy because it did come. And God, help us to resist Resist the attack of the enemy. When the enemy will rush in like a flood, your word says that you would lift up a standard against it. And so, God, we stand in this moment believing that the standard is lifted and that you are our standard. Come on. Somebody give him glory. Come on. 
give him glory. God, we ask that you would lift those that are in the sick bed, that you would raise them up. We understand now clearly that this COVID or Corona may not necessarily be the culprit, but it is definitely the catalyst that would try to push people on over to the other side. We're asking now that you would shut up its activity, its mutation, its ability to change form. God, in Jesus' name, as the flu and all other kinds of sickness and diseases, as hurricanes to try to arise, as tornadoes, as all kinds of things that happen in the earth, God, begin to come forth. We bind this activity. We ask for your peace, your shalom will come in and move into the hearts of mankind, will come in and move into the hearts of the spiritual nature and the climate that, God, you would take dominion and rule over. We have dominion over the earth, but, God, you have dominion over us. So give us the words that we need to speak. Give us, God, the wisdom that we need to have. Give wisdom to doctors and nurses and nurse practitioners. Give wisdom, God, to physician assistants and those that are helping people in rehab. Give, give that wisdom, God, to those that are developing and vaccinations and those that are going to produce cures, God. And, God, we're available for a miracle. If you want a miracle, God, to work in our lives so that your name can be proclaimed, we will definitely proclaim it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, we ask that you would put your name in the mouth of those that are able to speak to mass millions at one time, that you would change the pace, God, and change the climate of the news that's being reported. Change, God, the hearts of those. You've already begun, God. Continue to do so. Then not just do it to get something gained, to gain something, but to get, God, a realization that our world, our country in particular, God, if nothing else, God, we need you. Our world needs you. But God, we need your wisdom. We need your comfort. We need your ability, God, to change a man's heart and to change their minds, God. In Jesus' name, we declare that they shall not be turned over to reprobateness, but God, they will come back and have their hearts changed, have their minds renewed, and that their mouths shall speak of the transformation. We, we decree, we declare and decree, we believe that salvation shall come to the house and to the mouths. <laughs> shall come to the house and to the mouths of those, God, with influence. We give you glory. We're interceding. We're praying. We're praying because we believe. We pray because we believe, God, because you've been good already. We pray because we believe because you performed it already. And so we magnify you. We give you glory for it. We thank you, Lord God, that you're raising people up off of the deathbed. That death you have to go. If it is not the time called by the Lord, you must leave now. We rebuke you. We bind it in Jesus' name. We understand we cannot destroy because it is a glorious moment. But they have work to do in the earth, God. And it shall be encouraging to those and they shall come to know you. God, save and radically transform them when you deliver them out of the deathbed. And we give you thanks for it. We give you praise for it. Now, God, provide provision in areas where lack is and or in areas, God, or in addition to areas where there is a need so that, God, your gospel can go forth and be expanded in the earth. And use us, your people. We have an expert expectation that we are the sons and daughters of God and that our manifestation, our coming forth will be encouragement and will be transformative for all of those that are a part of what you're doing. We give you thanks for it. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, our soon coming King, Yahshua, the Son of Yahweh, our only living God. We give you praise for it now. Come on, give him glory for it. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all better give him praise for it this morning. Come on. What y'all doing? Y'all better give him praise for it this morning. Why? Why? Because God, God is no respecter of person. Your hindrances cannot come from things that are outside. If that's the case, your hindrances, any hindrance in your life is coming from something on the inside of you. Listen, I absolutely adore. I absolutely love y'all. I appreciate y'all. You guys are the absolute best. Things are changing in every area. There are multiple, y'all hear what I'm saying. There are multiple things that are happening at the same time in the earth. And we thought that we were on, uh, on assignment specifically just for a short period of time for a specific thing. But I believe that God is doing something not only in our lives, but in the lives of all of those that will be affected by what we're doing. See, the word of the Lord says that he will correct those things. He will perfect those things that concern you. And he will, he will correct or he will make every crooked path straight. He will, he will correct your path. My God, so that the longer that we attend and we come before him daily, daily will I rise and seek your face. You guys are doing this daily. 
This is devotion, dynamic devotion and prayer. Devotion, you're breaking up from the bread of God every morning and then you are praying. That's prayer. And then you leave here and you meditate on that word and you apply it to your daily lives. You are becoming disciples of the living God and you are going to make this contagious. Get this to as many people as you can. Show them that this is not only necessary, but this is essential for being a New Testament believer. And your faithfulness in doing so is showcasing itself. My God. So I'm honored to even be with you. Did he, didn't he, listen, I wish I was smart enough to say I knew that this was what was happening. But I'm telling you, I'm honored. And I believe that you should be the same. Don't forsake this moment. Drive as many people as you can to seeking God. Imagine if we get many, many, many people seeking God at the same time and then praying at the same, there's nothing more powerful than the power of prayer. To get this, how do you know that? Because Jesus ever lived, ever lived to make intercession or he ever lived to speak with the Father. Prayer is talking to God. We have the opportunity through Christ Jesus to do so. Man, that's a powerful, powerful tool and the enemy knows it. That's why he tries to distract you, try to get you so busy, try to uh, impede on this moment. But when you separate this time, this 8 a.m. Central Standard Time every day, when you do that, you make this devoted, you make this holy. You've got to understand that this is going to be a powerful thing. You will know this, you will see this uh, in the days to come. All right, uh, listen, I love y'all. Go meet you back here tomorrow. The Lord say the same thing tomorrow, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Come on, I love you wherever you're, wherever you're from. I appreciate you. Get somebody else on the call with you again today. Uh, y'all saw what today's were. Uh, I forgot to, to call them out, but today uh, we're doing West South Central, all right? These are the states that you want to tag, you want to get somebody on. Uh, I missed it earlier, but you can still do it today. Uh, send it to them in the rebroadcast format, forward it over to them. But this is Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, all right? Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana. Tag somebody that you know from these states. Remember, we're doing eight regions in eight days as we enter into the eighth month, which is a new beginning. I have an expectation that when we go into August, and listen, guys, we're going to do our breakthrough fast. I want y'all to join and participate with us. Now, you won't be able to, to do the worship or, or the giving, but well, you might, you might, but we, we worship and we give at the end uh, as a result of what we're believing for. We see that in Matthew 6. Now, prayer, fasting, and giving is what's necessary are the components for breakthrough. So we are doing our breakthrough fast. It starts uh, the first Monday in August. It's going to be bananas. Y'all can join us uh, in doing so. But let's make sure that we, as we enter into August, we have an expectation that we're going to get some new beginnings all over the place. All right? Yeah. All right, that's enough of me talking. I love y'all. Go on do what y'all got to do today. Call us. Thank y'all. Honored. See y'all tomorrow, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Be blessed. IG, glad y'all here. Come on, glad y'all here. Hallelujah. Come on, Will, for real. I see you, Decatur. Come on, Kings and Saved. I see you. Come on. I see all y'all. Beware. I see you, Miss Beware. Hey, what's up, Hope? Love you, man. Kings for life. Y'all be blessed. IG, I see y'all tomorrow, all right? Listen, uh, Facebook, y'all better hear what I'm saying. Y'all hear that boys to me. Uh, boys to men. Boy. Not boys to men. Men are standing. Y'all hear that men are standing going on in the background? I'm telling you, I was trying to get sounds of blackness. That was what was in my spirit this morning. But as I was searching, ran across that and decided to go ahead and put that up. Uh, I want to tell y'all before I let y'all go. Uh, don't y'all be giving Pastor Tiger all that love. I mean, come on. She did a great job. Come on, she did a great job. Can y'all set up the hearts? Come on. Set up the hearts. Come on. Put it put it in the comments, man. Appreciate it. Let her know how much y'all appreciate it. I know y'all did a good job yesterday. Uh, it's always good. Uh, she, she's got the three devices. So uh, you have to have them a bunch of devices in order to do this until we get this thing all tied up. Uh, we're working to make it happen. I do want to, well, I do want you guys to be a part of the fast. We hopefully will get a graphic that you guys, some kind of way, I don't know how that works, but some kind of way I'll uh, get a graphic, uh, maybe we put it in the comments so you guys will be able to post it. And if we can get uh, as many people as we can uh, on this fast uh, after this on um, this first Monday in, uh, in August, it's going to be something very, very special. All right, so uh, I want you all to prepare for that. I love y'all. Keep God first today and when you when i mean what i mean by that i know that you already do what i mean by that is if you're going to change your heart and not be prejudiced in certain areas you're going to have to look through the lens of the lord you're going to look through the lens of the lord and have compassion on the feeble you're going to look through the lens of the lord make make yourself uh operate uh with the way that the lord operates and then you will see all of these great things uh come to pass in your life without all of the tension that's unnecessary uh, Peter had tension against the Gentiles. He had 
uh, uh, tension against Paul because he says, listen, this gospel was for the Jews. It's what he thought. And then he found out that uh, from what the Lord did by bringing down uh, on a sheet uh, unclean things in, in their religion, in their in their law. And listen to that. God's breaking the law. Get this, y'all. Uh, I know y'all. some of y'all got to go. Love y'all. Have a, have a great day. Uh, but those of you that are staying to get this extra, get this. Hear me. Is God going to break his law and then tell you that you got to hold to the law? That would make God a hypocrite. So God brings down on the sheet food that's in the law that he is calling that in the law is considered unclean. And Peter says, I will not eat because he says, rise and eat. Peter said, I'm not going to eat that. That is unclean according to the law. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep holding on to the law. And then God tells him, he says, uh, Peter, never call anything unclean that I have called clean or that I have cleansed. That's what he said. And so Peter says, all right, I'm going to do what you said. Then he says, now rise up and go down to Cornelius' house. Cornelius is a Gentile. He ain't a Jew. Peter also upset now that he's got to, he's got to witness. He's got to give the gospel to somebody other than, the, than a Jew. The, ain't the God, isn't Jesus only for the Jews? Uh, isn't the gospel only for the Jews? <laughs> Then he delivers his word, he preaches the gospel, and then they heard the word and received the Holy Spirit, got saved, and began to prophesy to speak in tongues. Peter sits there and goes, whoa, I guess, I guess God is not only just for the Jews, but for everybody. Aren't you glad that God is for everybody, that God himself is not prejudiced? And if we're going to walk in the spirit of the God that whom we say we love, then we have to choose to not be prejudiced either. So the white man can't hold you down no more because you count on God. Uh, you can't hold a grudge against them just because uh, they're, they're black. You can't, stereotype, you can't stereotype them because they're black. Uh, you can't say because uh, they're from Lebanon, they're a certain kind. You can't, you, you can't look at a person and go, listen, be, uh, because they're, they're from Mexico, this is exactly what I know. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. All you know is to love a person with the love of God unrestricted unconditionally because God loves you unrestricted and unconditionally. So that's what we're to do. I live my life that way. I'm saying this to y'all, not, not to boast, but I live my life that way. I don't have any issues with people of different races and colors. In fact, I enjoy learning and getting to know them. And if there's something that is done, I assess it to the person, not to the whole group of people, to the person. And even deeper than that, I know that the enemy is trying to do something or attack me in some way. And so I even forgive the person. Now, I love I love the fact that we get to uh, have our own opinions and, and get to that place. <laughs> some of uh, some of y'all got to get to that place. Get there. Get there. But don't take long. Today, today, today. Don't wait to see it to believe it. Change your heart today. All right. I love y'all. Y'all go ahead. Y'all got that extra. Uh, make sure you share. I love y'all too. I love y'all. Mom Parker, love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love y'all. Love my mama see on there. All right. And uh, and, and uh, Pastor T, proud of you, girl. All right. Y'all be blessed. Have a great, great day.